Hello dear students. In this video we are going to solve this question. Let's see. How many grams of sodium azide are needed to produce 68.1 decimeter cube of nitrogen gas at STP? STP means standard temperature uh, pressure conditions. Here molar volume uh, at STP is given and molar mass of NaN3 is given. So uh, and the chemical equation is also given. So here we can see that 2 moles of NaN3 produce 3 moles of N2 gas. So here firstly uh, the volume of N2 gas is given at STP and this molar volume is given which means this, me, uh, this means that 22.7 decimeter cube of gas uh, at STP conditions is for 1 mole means 1 mole of N2 gas or any gas will occupy 22.7 decimeter cube volume. So here this much volume is given. So if we want to find the number of moles, actual number of moles produced uh, for that we will use this formula. Number of moles of this N2 gas for that uh, given volume, given volume upon molar molar volume right so given volume is 68.1 decimeter uh, 68.1 decimeter cube divided by 22.7 decimeter cube per mole decimeter cube decimeter cube per mole Right, so uh, 68.1 divided by 22.7. So uh, this is 3. So number of moles 3. So here uh, mole inverse it becomes mole. So 3 moles of N2 gas are produced here. And according to this equation also. Uh, uh, which is a general chemical equation this shows that 2 moles of 3 uh, uh, 2 moles of NaN3 produce 3 moles of N2 gas so actual number of moles are also 3 moles which means uh, to produce this N2 gas this much volume of N2 gas which means 3 moles 2 moles of NaN3 are required 2 moles but here uh, grams are asked. We have to calculate this these moles into convert these moles into grams. So, uh, what is the equation for this? What is the formula? Moles number of moles are equal to given mass upon molar mass. So moles we are already uh, we have already calculated that is 2 given mass given mass we have to calculate right so molar mass is given here 65 and uh, units for molar mass are gram per mole so here units are mole so m is equal to 2 multiply 65 when moles and this these units when we multiply these units then uh, grams will be the units and grams are the unit of the mass so 65 into 2 65 multiply 2 130 so 130 gram of sodium azide will produce this much volume of n2 gas 130 so answer should be b option sorry c option Let's check the mark scheme. Yes, you can see here mark scheme also shows C option is right. So if still you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. All the best.